Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome to another episode of NetSec Now. This is Afterburn, and I am officially back. So, uh, that being said, there's been a lot of changes over the last year. Um, you know, for various reasons, I wasn't able to produce any videos. Uh, I'm kind of still limited to as what I can and cannot do uh, in terms of having equipment set up and whatnot. But uh, rest assured that I'm working on fixing all that uh, weird stuff and all the bugs that I have going on here uh, on my own in my own situation network. Um, so that being said, the biggest news is Kali Linux 2.0 was released uh, like a month or so ago. Uh, I finally was able to get a laptop going again and I got it installed as you see here. Uh, so I'm completely done with Windows at this point because I you know, was doing a lot of research uh, on recording you know, the desktop in Linux as well as being able to produce videos in Linux as well. Um, so I'm happy to announce here. I think I got it all figured out, and we'll see, obviously, how this video goes. Uh, but just to give you some updates here, you know, Kali Linux 2.0 is pretty cool. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Uh, unfortunately, the, the biggest problem, I think, is that they're no longer uh, with Rapid7 in terms of the community and pro edition of, you know, Metasploit and all those things. So I'm still trying to work work it out and wrap my head around how that's actually going to work here. But uh, you know, we, you could still fire up Metasploit, you could still use it. Uh, I just, I don't know what the deal is with the updates as far as I'm, I'm aware of. Uh, there's a lot of new tools in here too. Uh, you can certainly go to Kali Linux's, um, you know, web page there and search on the tool log uh, of what's all installed. Um, so basically, I mean, there's a lot more stuff than I remember, at least in Kali Linux 1.x um, from when we made our last video over a year ago. So there's you know the menus are cleaner it looks like uh, the system is much faster in my opinion anyway uh, even though back then I was running it in a uh, virtual machine um, but I allocated plenty of resources to it so that being said everything else is pretty good um, you know you got some forensics in here you got post exploitation stuff reverse engineering you got uh, you know all sorts of hardware stuff I mean it's it's pretty cool um, there's a lot of good stuff going on here it comes with some word lists installed as well uh, it looks like, and we can go ahead and just fire that up. You can see uh, in a terminal, obviously where um, you know where it's all located. Uh, so that being said, this is a pretty cool operating system. I'm really excited, guys, to start making videos again. Um, you know, I got the laptop going, and like I said, the environment has changed here for as far as you know physical servers and things like that. But I'm going to work out getting at least another one or two laptops, and then using those as servers since my space is limited using those as servers to set up and, you know, pen tests in our lab. Um, so, yeah, uh, the other news is our host uh, that we had. Um, you know, I had stopped making videos, the host had moved, and somehow our website uh, got lost in the sauce. But uh, I still have the domain name, obviously. It's forwarded over temporarily to our, uh, our first site that we started, which is a Blogspot um, site, you know, hosted by Google. So check it out there. Uh, of course, you can use the main link, learnnetsec.com, and it'll redirect you right on over to there. Uh, also, the Facebook page is gone. It's actually still there, but Facebook uh, decided to be a bunch of geniuses and terminate my originating account that created that group or that, that page. And so I don't have direct access to manage that page anymore. So uh, I'm working on a good way to try to figure out how to either one, get that back, which I've been trying to, and it's not going to happen, it seems like. Uh, or two, just create a new one and, you know, go from there. So that's probably what we're going to do, so stay tuned for those updates. Uh, of course, you can always follow me on Twitter, um, and I'll post a link here in the description below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for right now, guys. I, uh, I actually am working on a script. Um, I just literally installed Kali Linux 2.0 um, between yesterday and today. Uh, so I'm working on another script to try to make things easier for you, uh, you know, kind of like our tour buddy script and so on and so forth. So. Uh, I'm going to not make this video too long. I still got to edit it. I got a bunch of stuff going on today, too. But I just want to let you guys know that I'm back. Uh, version 2.0 of NetSec now, if you will, to follow the Kali Linux 2.0. So um, leave some comments in the links, or leave some comments below. Check out the links in the description. And of course, have fun, guys. Keep learning. And I will see you on the next video, hopefully within a week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.